This presentation is about a blacksmith's apprentice. His name is Matthew Petroff. He is living in the 17th century, and he's an apprentice for a blacksmith in Massachusetts Bay Colony. He was bullied as a child, but wanted to go to America. His parents were bartenders, and they were going to start a bar in America. He was going to become a blacksmith's apprentice. He lives with his master while he works with them. And he was born in, in 1695. The basic jobs of a blacksmith's apprentice were cleaning tools and equipment at the end of the day or the way beginning of the day. Assisting blacksmiths by handing them tools and holding objects while they sculpt pieces of metal. Taking measurements of pieces and metal and comparing them to the original to get exact accuracy on what they were making. They had to keep an inventory of tools and they kind of advised the blacksmith. I don't really know why because they're clearly less experienced. When, like, the blacksmith needs more supplies because his are getting crappy and old and busted. And then they would hammer uh, heated metal or steel to complete the task under the supervision of the blacksmith. And then they would start working four in the morning. They start earlier than their master. They sweep, clean, and start uh, the fires in the forge, which is basically just a bunch of charcoal that heats very, very hot. So the steel will melt. And then, um, then fill the forge with charcoal. And the dust that would come off the charcoal would, like, it's super itchy, and it would get all over your body. So that's not fun. And then you would make... In the forge, you would make pots, pans, sewing needles, etc. Um, you would end um, the day and start basically all over again at 7 o'clock at night. Or you'd end the day at 7 o'clock at night. Um, so... Now, we're going to go to A Day in the Life of an Apprentice with Matthew Petroff. Start the day, 4 a.m. Starting the forges at about 6 a.m. Now we start the metal turning process. The metal heated up. Try not to inhale the smoke. Then you gotta heat your metal up. Put it right in the fire. In your master's directions. Then the master tells you to put more fuel in the fire so you can get out of here. Put more fuel in the fire. that get red hot and then you got a beat on your metal <coughs> and then once your metal is done got a beat on it with your hammer. And soon that will form your supposed good. In this case, form the frying pan. <coughs> now that you have completed your daily process, you get time off the rest of the day and you have to start all over again. 
Hello there, sir. I would like to give you my frying pan for a dollar. Just a dollar. And I will sell you the spraying pan. Oh, good deal, good deal. Thank you for the dollar. Here's your frying pan. You studied the trade from your blacksmith boss. And then go to bed. Finish work at about 8 p.m. at night. For my time personally in the winters when I finish my work then. Get my cold gear on. This. That concludes a day in the life of a blacksmith's apprentice.